just so many bonds that are going to have to be issued to cover our deficits as a country. That's going to require a little bit higher interest rate to entice the buyers. So, you know, I think cap rates have, they have floated up some, you know, and again, it depends on what asset class we're talking about. You got storage, you got hotels, you got office. Um, you know, I think this, this, this is going to go to, they called, I heard it was a balance sheet recession, which I can understand that even if you don't default, you're still going to have, some hits on your balance sheet for valuations and re, you know, appraisals for refinances and higher interest rate. Your cash flow is going to be, even if you can get something refinanced on a property that you bought at a lower cap rate, now you got to refi at a higher interest rate. Um, you just your cash flow is going to be a lot less. So I think the next, but there's also also on the side, there's a lot of cash on the sidelines too. It was 8.8 trillion or something. It was on the sidelines. Um, so again, where that's going to be spent is who, who knows exactly, but I think, I think there's going to be a lot less 